Hi, my name is Evie. And I'm Meredith. And we're going to be teaching you on how to do scorpion raises. Let's get started. For step one of a scorpion raise, your hands have to be like this. And if you fall into it, you can rock and come on up. And the other first step is um, you can put it in your hands and fist, but it doesn't give you much. It gives you strength, but the other way is more powerful and muscle to your sh shoulders. But this one, it just gives you strength in your arm, and it doesn't work good. I can't do that way. So the second step is how to like kind of come up. So and this way, you can come up like that. Or you can come up like this. I don't like go up both ways if I need to. But yeah. Okay, this way. Okay, this is how if you want to do it the fish way. And if you want to start a different way, you can start from the ground and kick up. Or you can start from here and kick up. That's the fish way. I have more strength. I, I can feel the strength. I have more strength, but I don't have balance. That's why I kicked over so early. See? Um, fist. Oh, good. Strength. And strength and balance. You see how much better that was? Okay, next step is how if you get stuck in the middle one and you like how if you're gonna fall or something so this is how I fall if I try to if I think I'm gonna fall and I kind of land in a bad position this is how I land and it feels weird but you can hit your nose or something but normally it's scorpion roses you don't get hurt see I normally don't get hurt I just go up so yeah and if you're too scared, if you're too scared to kick up on the ground the first time, then I wouldn't try that the first step. I would go up against a wall. I'd find a wall somewhere. And what I would do is, here's the wall. Here's my fingers. Don't get too close where you're like this. Go like this. That should be how much space is in between you and the wall. So here is mine up against the wall. You can either do it the fist way or the hand way. I prefer the hand way. So do I. I recommend the hand way. And you can bend your legs and do all this. Yeah, and try to touch your feet to your head. Try to lean your head up. Like that. Now touch and then touch your feet to your head. And then here's her. Against the wall or not. Uh, I'll do mine on the ground. I'm not going to kick up into it. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go like this. See, that was a terrible one, but my record is like one, I can go more than one minute probably. I don't and think. here's a tip on to holding it longer. Try to have your hands out and your hands like this to where you feel like you have more balance. But if you do it this this way, it kind of feels weird. See? It feels weird when you do it. It's kind of like the fist I, way. I can't and do it. And it doesn't give you most balance. Okay. In a handstand, you're not like this because you won't have balance. You're like this. See, yeah, handstands. Like that. Well, that was a terrible one. Handstand. Yeah. Thanks for watching. That was our tutorial on how to do scorpion races. Bye.